welcome back to the Keys Kiss channel and I'm Miss Keys. We are back for the second episode in our back to school series where we read all types of books about going back to school. Some from the student's perspective and some from the teacher's perspective. While we are reading these awesome books, we have a big lesson focus and that focus is to find the theme. Remember, Theme is the message, the moral, or the lesson the author wants you to take away from the story. Remember, we talked about that strawberry-filled donut. Even though you can't see the strawberry filling, doesn't mean it's not there. That's the same for theme. The theme is hidden inside of the story. So while you're reading, you can ask yourself questions like, how did the character grow or change? What did the character learn? Why did the character act this way? And all of those things will help you find the theme. There are many common themes like acceptance and love, good versus evil and perseverance, not to forget courage like last week. And so we will be doing that same thing again today as we read the amazing New York Times bestselling book, We don't eat our classmates by author and illustrator Ryan Higgins. Ryan Higgins is a phenomenal author and illustrator who decided at the age of four that he wanted to be a cartoonist. And ever since then, he's been writing and making up stories. And look at him now. So I am so excited to dive into his world and read this awesome book. So now that we've gotten all of that great stuff out the way, are you guys ready to read this book? Well, you know what's next. You know you need to put on your reading hat because it's time to read. So let's go! We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. Hey kids! You will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They're extinct, I promise. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorites because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Mm, Penelope, honey, I love food. I, I am right there with you, girl, but mm, 300 tuna sandwiches? Maybe if there were like 300 grilled cheese sandwiches, I would, I'd be right there with you, girl, but tuna? Mm -hmm. But I get it, I get it, to each his own. Finally, the big day came, and Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were children. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So she ate them. Because children are delicious. Duh. <laughs> Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman. We don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. <laughs> Poor Penelope. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. I, I don't think I want to sit by you, Penelope. You might, you, you might eat me, girl. I, you know, you seem nice, but you might eat me. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends except her. It was lonely. When she got home, 
her dad asks about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends! Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asks. Did you eat your classmates? Oh, well, maybe sort of just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard, but poor Penelope. She could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman! Penelope ate William Omoto again! And they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates. Even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon, Penelope started making friends. Now, even when the children look especially delicious. She peeks at Walter and remember what it's like when someone tries to eat you. Oh. And Walter the goldfish stares right back at her and licks his lips. Because dinosaurs are delicious. The end. What an amazing book. Penelope definitely learned her lesson. You're not supposed to eat your classmates, you guys. I loved it, but you know what time it is now. Now we gotta go find the theme. So, I'm gonna give you a little thinking time. Cue the thinking music. Ready? Great job, you guys. The theme of We Don't Eat Our Classmates is perseverance. Penelope really wanted to make friends. She kept trying and trying, and she ran into hard times, but she didn't give up. When you go through this school year, there's going to be some hard times but we have to make sure that we always persevere and keep trying. We can do it, we can survive. It's going to be a great school year. Don't forget, every Monday on the Keys Kids channel Instagram, you'll find our new book of the week. And if you check the description box below, you'll find a bunch of fun things in there. You'll find links to the books, information about our author, comprehension questions, anything you can think of. It'll probably be in the description box. So don't forget to check it out. And please remember to like and subscribe to the Keys Kids channel on YouTube. Every Friday, I'll be right here reading to you. And with all of that being said, guys, it's time to go. But no worries, because I'll see you guys next week on the Keys Kids channel. Bye! See you next week.